well, you can think of them specialized agents for individual tasks, they very context aware for whatever's passed to them. So they're given the relevant context for that task and it really works well in collaboration. And you kind of want to think of this more of a context driven architecture result. You only want to give the agent the relevant context, not too much context. And that will help streamline your workflow and also stop deviations as much as possible in your AI coding. We've got primary agents and we've got sub agents. The primary agent is like the coordinator, understands the big picture, breaks down complex tasks and coordinates with the sub agents. And it has access to the full project context and knows when to delegate. Your sub agents is more your specialists. For example, you could have a code review agent that understands your code quality, a testing agent to understand your, your testing procedures and your documentation agent to know where and how to format your documentation. Each is, has its focus context and specific expertise. And this just helps mitigate giving too much context to the primary agent that gets convoluted and seems to drift the more and more conversations you have. So you kind of want to keep it more laser focused.